Carbon monoxide is a gas that you can't smell and you can't see. Uh, it doesn't cause any irritation of the lungs, it doesn't cause a cough, and because of that, it can be really hard to detect. Carbon monoxide uh, has impacts on health because it replaces oxygen in our blood. Oxygen is essential for all of our cells and organs, and so uh, breathing in carbon monoxide it can have impacts uh, on the entire body. People who are exposed to carbon monoxide uh, can have a variety of symptoms. Uh, the most common symptoms are dizziness, headache, feeling weak, uh, but with a longer exposure or with a, a more intense exposure, uh, people also report nausea and vomiting, you can have unsteadiness and uh, even loss of consciousness. Certain people who are exposed to carbon monoxide, especially those who are exposed uh, more intensely or for a longer duration, can have what we call late or residual symptoms. A late or residual symptom is a symptom that uh, appears or continues after the exposure. In general, most people who will have these symptoms will develop them in the three to six weeks after the exposure. Amongst the most common uh, late or residual symptoms are memory or attention problems, changes in mood or behavior, uh, feeling a lack of interest uh, or, or feeling tired, and some symptoms such as headaches may also persist over time. Certain people who are exposed to carbon monoxide may have long-term or permanent impacts on their health. Fortunately, most people will recover completely, but a small number may have symptoms that remain. The probability that a person has longer term symptoms depends on their individual vulnerability, so certain individual risk factors, as well as the intensity and duration of the exposure and the speed with which uh, the intervention occurs after the exposure. If you're the parent of a child uh, at the Ecole des Découvreurs and your child had no symptoms at the time of the event or their symptoms have resolved, no additional medical consultation is needed at this time. If you're an employee at the school and you already saw a doctor at the time of the event or since and you have a compensation form for the CNESST that is filled out and signed by a doctor and your symptoms have resolved or you didn't have symptoms at the time of the event, no additional consultation is required. If you're an employee and you haven't seen a doctor, we suggest that you consult a physician in order to fill out a compensation form for the CNESST. And note that you have up to six months after the event to uh, fill out the form and send it in. Anyone, whether a child or an employee of the school, who has symptoms should consult a, a physician. You and your doctor will then be able to determine the best treatments to relieve your symptoms. Remember, if you're an employee, to make sure to fill out a compensation form for the CN or SSD when you visit the doctor. Montreal Public Health, with the CIUS de l'Ouest de l'Ile de Montréal, are setting up a follow up clinic in four to six weeks. The goal of this clinic is to evaluate the health of all the children and employees of the Ecole des Découvreurs in order to identify any children or employees that still have symptoms and uh, orient them to the appropriate health services.